Hey YouTube, my name is Johan. I work as a cybersecurity professional. And in today's video, I'll talk a bit about how I failed the CCSP and how I passed. So for those of you who don't know, the CCSP is an exam provided by IC Squared. And it's an exam that is similar to the CISSP. It's just more cloud specific. A bit about my practical experience with this before starting the certification. I have basically experience in all of the domains in the criteria uh, for the exam. So I'm familiar with a lot of the terminology, the keywords and the principles. So that's uh, that really benefited me uh, with actually starting with this because I, I thought this is a great additional theoretical lens to my practical experience. So before starting with talking about why I failed, I want to talk a bit about failure in general and failure around certifications. So for those of you watching who's actually failed, failed the certification or failed this exam, I know how it feels. You, you get bummed out, you, you think this is the end of the world and it's just sad at some point, but then you kind of, uh, you kind of move on from that. So for anyone who's failed out there, I really feel with you. Uh, it, it's not a fun experience, but here are the reasons that I failed. So the first one is, understanding theory. I didn't truly understand the theory and the concepts and the principles uh, around the questions and especially when there were cross domain questions, meaning you would add something from the first domain and the third domain and the fourth domain to try to figure out the right answer. So I didn't have any experience with practical questions like that. I didn't look through enough uh, practice questions. The second one is the CCSP mindset uh, or the cloud security professional mindset versus practical experience. So I have a lot of practical experience with a lot of these domains. So I know a lot of the issues and the challenges and I would tend to lean towards that instead of actually relying on my theoretical knowledge. So if you want to pass this exam, please rely more on your CCSP mindset rather than your practical experience. Practical experience is great. You can add value to that with your theoretical lens, but at the end of the day, to actually pass the exam, you need to have a clear CCSP mindset or think like a security manager is often, uh, as it's often referred to. The third thing that actually made me fail was I was caught off guard by the questions and not in like a technical sense, not like, oh, I've never seen this definition or this keyword before, but more on just English literature in general. Like they use some words that are just, uh, yeah, it's not easy for a non-native English speaker to to understand what they're actually saying because the words that they use are just, they're just strange sometimes. So it kind of threw me off and made me actually angry during the exam. I was like, why, why do they do this? This is just pointless. They're not testing my security knowledge. They're just testing how well I can read. So that was a bit annoying, but uh, yeah, I was more prepared the second time and it actually, yeah, made me just you know, relax a bit more and not get angry during the exam because getting angry during the exam doesn't really help. The last thing that I want to talk about is uh, too many projects. I had too much going on uh, with my work and I couldn't really prioritize the exam. And um, yeah, that essentially made me not prioritize studying and just studying a bit ad hoc and not actually giving it the time and respect the certification deserves. So that's definitely a failure on my part. And so that's kind of the reasons that I failed. But on a more positive note, I passed. And uh, the reason that I passed uh, are a mix of reasons, I think. The first thing that I did after being bummed out failing was uh, I figured out, okay, what are the areas that I'm weak at? And when you fail, you get a sheet of paper and uh, it says uh, the proficiency levels that you have. And on uh, my proficiency levels, uh, I, I scored below proficiency on two or three of the domains. And uh, what I essentially did was I reread those domains. I talked to some professionals, talked to people online, read it. I was listening to podcasts, videos. I was everywhere trying to figure out, okay, what do I not truly understand? The second thing that I did was I got the phone app and it's essentially a, a phone app of the book by Ben Mollislow. Hope I didn't butcher his name. Sorry, Ben. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's basically a phone app of this book. And what I did was I switched between the phone app and, and this uh, book and I created a, a similar environment to the exam. So I would sit down for two hours and uh, do 125 questions and answer them as good as I can without any help. 
And then when I was finished, I would do a gap analysis to try to figure out, okay, what are the areas that I'm good at? What are the areas that I'm bad at? And try to minimize the gap. So I did that for like three or four months. I might have overdone it, but who knows, right? It's just experience. And uh, another thing that I did was I would write down notes physically by hand, uh, handwritten notes, and I would reread those notes and I would try to figure out, okay, what are the things that I'm continuously failing at and am I making any progression? And that was also a game changer for me. It sounds a bit basic, but actually writing down notes by hand is truly great. So I really recommend that for all of you out there uh, doing your certifications, uh, write by hand. We're biologically made to do that. And the last thing is spaced out learning. So with spaced out learning, this is just a general exam tip, but don't cram everything for a week and then just expect to pass, especially if you're younger or starting off in your career. Use the time to actually learn the theories and the principles behind this, but because it is useful. A lot of this knowledge is is useful. So and so yeah, I would recommend spacing out learning and just not cramming everything in one day and trying to figure out what do you understand and what don't you understand. That was the game changer for me. So those are my thoughts. And uh, if you have any comments, please comment down below. If you passed, please comment down below how you passed. And if you have any thoughts on that, and uh, if you can share any experience. And for those of you out there taking the exam or preparing for the exam, best of luck. I truly wish you the best and I hope you guys can do it.